Hi, my name is Sara and this is my project 2 for the CS50 web development course. So requirement number one says that your application should have at least three models in addition to the user model. So if we look over here in my models.py, then you can see that we have the user model, the auction listing model, the bid, and the comments. And additionally, we have auction listing form and um, a class for the category. Requirement number two is that there should be a page where the user should be able to create a listing. So this is the website. If you click on create listing, it brings you to slash create and you can put in a category, a title, some will say we Mario Kart. Okay, put in a description, a price, I'll make it 90 and a photo. I'm actually going to paste a new photo in. And um, yeah, so in my active listings, we have Wii Mario Kart. This is from a previous uh, recording, but um, yeah, it creates the new listing. Okay, so requirement number three is that there should be an active listings page where um, the user should review, should view all your current active listings. And it says like the basic title description um, on the cards, right? So we have one over here, we have another entry here, we have all these entries and they each have a details page. So if I click on details, it will bring you to the listing page. So requirement number four is that clicking on the listing should bring you to that specific page. If you're signed in, you should have the watch list. You should be able to bid and you should and if you created this listing, you should close. You should be able to close the auction, right? So right now it's added in my watch list. As you can see, I only have the bracelet and this uh, other bracelet in my watch list. But um, what I can do is I can remove it from watch list by clicking on this button, and it will no longer be in my watch list. Okay, so that's um, that. You can also bid on the item. So let's say this is 6,999. So if I add a bid for 7,000, the bid will be updated successfully. And if you put like a smaller number, that should give you an error message. So update failed. Um, you should be able to close the auction. And it will say, congratulations, your auction listing is closed. And... Um, you should be able to add comments and everything. So all that functionality is listed here. You can even see the comments over here, but I can say hi, or I can say hello, and it will also be added to all the comments on that listing. Okay, and then since we closed the auction, that bracelet will no longer be visible. Okay, so um, requirement number five is the watch list, right, which we have. Um, this bracelet in our watch list. Uh, the reason it's not showing an active listing is because I actually archived it, but it will still stay in your watch list. So you can keep a track of um, all the items you like, regardless whether it's active or not. Um, so clicking on the listings should bring you to the listings page. So you're in the listings page for this. Um, yeah, and then categories. So if we go back to our active listings, we have this all categories, but if we only go to fashion, it will filter it. Oh, we actually archived the two fashion things we did have. But if we go to toys, it will show us our Mario Karts, right? Both of these are toys. And if we go to home, it will show you the home. Okay, now the last requirement is that you should be able to go to the admin interface so if i just go to slash admin you can see the auction listings of bids and categories going to auction listings you can easily delete any one of these entries you can also um, make it active again and all that functionality is possible through the administration interface. So that's my project. Thanks for watching.